The best time to get yourself a business bank account is just as soon as you register your business. That is right. Do not itch. Try to get your business a business bank account immediately after you've registered. And if you don't know how to register your business, meaning you've not yet registered, you can visit the company's office of Jamaica, their website. Literally, you can get your business registered on the site yourself or there are a lot of companies who register businesses on your behalf that you can actually pay them to get your business registered in an easy step or you could literally do it yourself. I did it myself, right? Well, I did it with the help of my business partner, my husband. But yeah, you can literally do it yourself, okay? So I'm going to be showing you the process of getting your business registered and getting your business a business bank account simply because there are a lot of things that I wish that I knew and I didn't know them and I got mine registered really late not registered but like um the bank account the business bank account i got that late because like i just never um was so clear about the process there were just so many going around so i kind of just want to make it simple for you so that if you're trying to get your business a business bank account the process that you need to take so first you need to ensure that your business is registered with the company's office of Jamaica and you'll get your certificate as well as your, so that's your business registration certificate. You're going to get that and you will also get your articles of incorporation. Those documents will outline the name of your business. It will also give you the TRN and the NIS and other things for your business, right? So I'm going to run through real quickly what you'll need to open a business bank account, right? So you'll need your ID if you are the proprietor of that business. So you'll need your identification and you know that your identification can be your driver's license, your passport or your voter's ID right now in Jamaica, right? So any of those identification cards can be used as your ID. You'll need your taxpayer registration number, your TRN right so tax registration number you'll need that right so your trn is really important and you know that if you're using a driver's license then your trn is basically on it right now once you have your trn your id you'll need your business registration certificate as i mentioned before You'll need your articles of incorporation. You'll need a company's TRN. The company's TRN can be found in the documents from company's office, right? You'll need a projected cash flow in terms of a projected cash flow, like what amount of money you plan to spend and earn for your business for a period of time. Typically, it's from anywhere from 12 months to 18 months to Two years to 24 months so anywhere from 12 months to 24 months worth of projection right you'll also need a TCC right that's a tax compliant certificate just to say that you are compliant with taxes and that is why I recommend doing it at the beginning because when you just register your business you are issued with a tax compliant certificate literally right you can just get it same time and that's something that i didn't know right so it expired after three months and allowed mine to expire and then when it was expired no that's the time i realized that hey i need to get a business bank account and in order to get that business bank account i needed to get another tax compliant certificate and then by the time i needed a new tax compliant certificate it was time for filing so i needed to file my taxes which is a whole other thing right so i hope this was helpful just to go over you'll need your identification card your tr in your proof of address for the business right so proof of address for the business so the address that's on file a proof of address you'll need your business registration certificate articles of incorporation the company's trn projected cash flow tax compliance certificate these are the general things that you need of course different banks might require different things so these are just the general basis of things that you need but if you're not sure give your bank a call or go into your bank schedule an appointment and find out because guess what this is critical you don't want to be doing business from 
any other account other than your business bank account right that's something that i had real challenges with and i'm so happy that i finally got it so i want to literally say thank you to the bank of choice that i chose all right nothing um particular i just chose that bank because i was already working with that bank and yeah so thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe remember to share this video it might help someone else i wish i had seen a video like this somewhere and that's why i decided to um to kind of share of course i'm still working on other things for the businesses that i run but i believe that it's a learning process so i don't know everything but the little i know i want to share it with you and i hope that you'll find it beneficial and if you know something else or there's something that I left out, please do not hesitate to share in the comments. I am really grateful for that because it's a learning process. You know, as a business coach, I'm also learning every day. As an entrepreneur, I'm learning every day and I want to learn from you. So you're welcome to share any additional tips and tricks or in any other information that you have so that we can all benefit. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.